What is up guys, today we'll be focusing on a number warlock status build, this time we'll be focusing on a high tier ability region setup for all of the abilities at once, with a insane cooldown rate via the traveller's chosen sidearm, and a very very underrated exotic called eye of another world. Now when I say this is very underrated I truly mean very underrated, this is a exotic that has a very good natural game for any build you have in mind, for the buffing stats you receive for it, but even then people still ignore it for other better exotics. That won't be the case here though, for what we are going to pull off with it, we are going to utilise the buff in stats via the exotic, and the instant ability regen via the travellers for a 100% ability uptime for our strength, discipline and rift abilities. At the same time we're going to be utilising some new perks from our shotgun, and most importantly we're going to add in some charge with light mod to enhance our sidearm damage by a lot. Like the last build, it can be customised to your liking to fit a specific role of your choice, but if you don't want that, then carry on listening as I'll break this build down further for you from here on out. So for the subclasses, we're going to be using the Shade Binder subclass with Ice Flare Bolts and utilising the Whispers of Fissures fragments to enhance our stasis destructive capabilities. As the focus of the build is to use all of our abilities with a low cooldown rate, you can practically go anywhere with this build, so for example, we can cater to our build around the Penumbral Blast melee ability to constantly freeze our targets as we go, and then combine this with another fragment that will pair really well with it of your choice. Or for more creative type, we can spec into the different grenades for a near infinite inventory of them, which can then be utilised for whatever content you have in mind, and then pair it with the Whispers of Fissures for an even unique touch on it. What I'm trying to say overall is that the build isn't designed around just simply all the abilities, but rather the singular ones as well, so how you go about this is entirely up to you, which means you have plenty of room to mess around with it. I'm also using the Whisper of Refraction fragment as well, but please do note, I believe this is currently bugged and not allowing us to gain ability energy at the moment would kind of sucks as it would borderline make the build even more disgustingly powerful. This doesn't stop the build from being useful though, generally at all. In fact, you don't even have to use a fragment to get a whole lot out of the build, but it may be wise for you for the time being to pick another fragment until it's fixed. For your grenades, the choice is honestly down to you as you have the freedom of picking and choosing as you wish, but I shall be choosing the dusk field grenades as they are best choice to pick for the larger radius effect and the ability to pull others in who are near it which is perfect for creating a stasis chain reaction. Now for the weapons, we're going to be using a lot of close range weaponry at our disposal, so you may need to double check and see if you have a spare long range weapon to spare, just in case of course. Within my primary, I have the Traveller Chosen, and this sidearm combined with the Exotic Helm will allow you to have a constant feed of ability energy coming your way all the time. While you'll naturally gain ability cooldown as you play, the Travellers can skip the middle ground and allow you to get more energy naturally, and generally whenever you like as the perk will always be active in the main background. So at tier 5 gathering light with this weapon, you'll be able to get all of your abilities back instantly for example, depending on where you are with your abilities, while at tier 2 you can get at least a quarter of it back, etc. This is handy to know as it means we don't have to fully charge our exotic to get the most out of it, but rather activate it whilst our exotic helm is doing the work. If you don't have the weapon then it might be a slight issue to pull off the current build, but like I said earlier, you have to adapt to the ability buffs to a specific stat you have instead, if that's something you can even pull off as well. For a secondary, I'm going to be using the Bone Chiller Shotgun with two new perks, one for all and dual loader. You'll want to have something that has both range and damage to it, such as a grenade launcher, or something that can be switched out to quickly and stagger an enemy, such as a shotgun. The Bone Chiller, for example, although a slug round, is quite decent actually and really good to use in PvE with its crit multiplier, and works really well like any other shotgun you have in mind. Now my role has the one for all perk which is like a mini rampage with duration, but can last up to 9 seconds. Now I haven't tested the numbers out fully yet compared to the rampage and kill clip, and I do plan to look into this in the near future, but from my perspective it does the job pretty well. Now as a warning, you only get 9 seconds after you get the third kill, so when you have your first and second kill activated, that will only last for a few seconds, I mean literally a second or two, so you have to really follow what the perk says, get three kills to really maximise on it. 
Now for the next perk we have the dual loader perk which drastically reduces reload speed but allows you to reload two rounds instead of one. This may look bad and stat wise it really does but I honestly think it's quite a great perk to pair with the build as I will always have a plus one extra round available in my chamber when reloading and this will be pretty useful against a majority of enemies I'll be facing when I use up all my rounds and I just need something quickly to rely on. Now I will say in PvE it's pretty good to use as you don't really have to worry at times. In PvP I can see it being a big issue unless you're really quick on your feet I don't really see it being a big thing to use in PvP. For Heavy I've chosen to use the Sub-Zero Salvo Rocket Launcher with Fresh and Quick Draw. The role I have has the new perk called Fresh where killing enemies with his weapon can produce a small amount of super energy on kills and it's pretty handy to have around for a build like this as you can constantly build up your super in a matter of seconds if you're up against a large group of red enemies for example. It's like a mini bad juju but for the heavy but with more radius to it. In the meantime it's also pretty handy for bosses but I would prefer to use this against ultras who I know I can easily down with it. For the stats you're going to want to spread all your stats out to around the 50 to 60 levels as the Eye of Another World Exotic will add a plus 20 hidden stat cooldown for the strength, discipline and rift speed. Ideally if you can get your stats to the 50 level via armor upgrades while still having mod slots available to add even more stats onto it then you will reach a new perfect level of balance as you can then go ahead and put in some mods into the attendance area for example and then you can basically maximize it from there. Remember as we have the fresh perk available on our heavy this would pair really really well with the build as an all rounder loadout that is capable for whatever activity you have in mind as you're covering all areas of aspect for the build so nothing is going to be left behind. For your armor it just needs to support the charge with light mods and ideally the surprise attack mod. If you don't have this mod then it's completely fine as you can use the high energy fire mod instead but it would probably be a lot more better if you had the surprise attack mod available. Your exotic armor piece will need to be at least a solar affinity for the charged up mod and ashes to assets for super regen as well. Now as we covered all the main aspects of the build and things that you need to be fully aware of here are the mods that we'll be currently using for the build. For head we're going to be using minor discipline, ashes to assets, sidearm ammo finder and charged up mod. For arm we're going to be using resilience, fastball and supercharge mod. For chest we're going to be using resilience, concussive damner times one and swift charge mod. For leg we're going to be using discipline, absolution, insulation and surprise attack mod. And for bond we're going to be using minor strength, surge eater, perpetuation, and stacks on stacks mod. For a passive regen build for this status subclass, this is as passive as you can get for any building game, with a very natural recovery rate always being active for you. So let's take a look at the Eye of Another World Exotic. This exotic's main perk boosts the user's stats by plus 20 for their melee, grenade and riff regen speed, while also highlighting enemies at a low health. And the way the exotic work isn't shown nor easily noticeable while testing, as Bungie has a thing with keeping buffs and stats hidden. You see, while this does boost your stat level through hidden means, it works off a certain factor that you must always be aware of, and that is, the lower your stat is, the greater the cooldown will be, while the higher the stat is, the less you get back out of it. You're basically getting diminishing returns if you fully max out your stat for example, as it's always best to keep it at a relatively low level instead, Something reasonable such as tier 5 which would be 50. At tier 5 cooldown for our melee and grenade we can get a 59 second cooldown but with the added exotic in play it will feel like a tier 7 and we will instead get a 45 second cooldown instead. This is an exotic that is quite special for just being simple and straight to the point and fits the theme of the build. Our sidearm can boost our abilities to whenever as long as we have stacks available, while in the background the Eye of Another World will be providing us with an extra boost in stats for faster regen. At the same time we'll also have the mods that are enhancing the stats further such as the Absolution and Installation mods. These two mods combined with a secondary that is fully masterwork will push our regen rate even more, to the point that it's recommended you run this in groups as your teammates can produce orbs of power which you can greatly benefit from. Perpetration is another mod that will be working in the background for you 100% of the time as long as you're using your abilities which is going to be all the time. 
So this is another mod worth adding into the set for extra benefits. And then lastly, we have the surprise attack mod for doubling our sidearm damage and it greatly benefits the main loadout player style of close quarter fighting. All of this combined makes a very compelling but simple build which is great for all players in mind. It's sad to see such an exotic such as the Eye of Another World not get that well deserved love that it should do and that's probably one of the main downsides to using the build. The exotic, although passive and great in design, other exotics that actually make a noticeable change are more sought after. Exotics such as Variety's Brow, Nezrak Sin, Sunbracers and Crown of Tempest are prime examples of wall exotics that make a drastic but extremely noticeable change which prompts players to actively use them more. Eye of Another World is good and great for passive playstyle or those that want a simple build but it doesn't have the same impact and effect that the other exotics have. One positive of the build though is that the customization options you have with the weaponry allowing you to swap out any time for even more specific weapons for specific stats such as the Monte Carlo for melee only or Demolitionist for grenades only or even Wellspring for a spread stat boost if you don't have the Traveler Chosen available. My final verdict on the build is that no matter what subclass you have in mind this build can benefit you greatly with its passive playstyle it offers. The build here can allow you to get either a steady or near unlimited amount of abilities available for you and when combined with the new stasis subclass can allow for even more crazier options. If this sounds like something for you then give this build a try. But remember, there's always room for improvement and this build here has plenty available. So if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and a sub and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content if you dig that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for sticking by and I'll see you all in the next one.